A Memphis woman is behind bars tonight for knowingly exposing a boyfriend to HIV, according to investigators. Tonight, he's on pins and needles, awaiting his next round of testing. WMC Action News 5's Jason Miles is live with the interview you'll see only on 5. Jason. The alleged victim will be back here at the Shelby County Health Department next month, hoping the results of his next test remain negative. I don't know if he right. It's a feeling I can't explain. This 24-year-old man agreed to speak with me if I kept his identity hidden. He's in the midst of testing, which so far has failed to detect HIV. I don't want to get tested. I look like about three, four times. It's showing negative right now. It's not showing up. He knows things could change with each follow-up test. I don't want to live with nothing like that. I can't even see myself living when I like that. He blames his current status on that of former girlfriend Lashika Free, who he says repeatedly denied having HIV when he confronted her with information from friends. What did she tell you when you asked her? She just kept lying about it. He says a visit to police finally forced Free to fess up. Investigators subpoenaed health department records which showed Free tested positive for HIV during a stay at Jail East on assault charges back in 2010. Inmates have the option to choose to be tested. It's not anything that's mandated, but there is a program where if an inmate would like to be tested for HIV, they can be tested. In this case, that test revealed the truth about 23-year-old Free, whose ex-boyfriend believes may have had unprotected sex with many others. What do you think about her right now? I don't care what happened to her. I don't want to see her face and nothing no more. Lakeisha Free is being held tonight on a $15,000 bond. Her official charge is criminal exposure to HIV. And the Shelby County Health Department wanted me to remind you that free testing is available through the month of December here at the main office and satellite locations. Reporting live tonight from the Medical District, Jason Miles, WMC Action News 5.